Tawaji saw Epic's video response to the commentary community, where in the video he responds to an interview, comic section, and rants about Tyrecast. And the video was a pretty short response to the people he's trying to respond to because he proves the point even more. So I'll address the points that are wrong to me and we'll go on from there. So for some context, he's religious, and with that, he obviously has some takes about other people. Now in some bibles, it does say that being LGBT slash trans is a sin, and it's an argument that I'm not going to get into right now. The point is that he doesn't like trans people. Now I don't think anyone would care about his belief that much, but the reason why people are mad at him is because he uses it in a non-religious way. I don't know how to describe it. Many religious people have probably had the same beliefs about it, but they don't like hate hate them or not dislike them. Either way, a better way of talking about trans people would be respect respectful in some regards. I feel like you just hate them just to be edgy or cool. Technically speaking, you hate trans people because they're a sin to you, but you make it seem like you just say to say it. I'll explain my point throughout this video. Anyways, let's get to the commentary communities mad at me dot 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 my response. He openly identifies as transphobic and like showers his videos and slurs and like Wow guys, I'm transphobic, that's so bad. Not once in this entire segment of the interview does he explain why it's bad for me to be transphobic. All he tries to do is manipulate Max into backstabbing me or some shit. Wait, wait, wait. okay. So we established that he's openly transphobic and he admits to it. But to the random person that doesn't know the context, he looks so bad in this video. And also, I don't think he needs to explain why transphobia is bad because Max isn't a fucking retard. I think that he knows why it's bad, even with or without context. I mean, I, I, I talked I to him and then he said the n-word and like some other cool stuff about that, so... <laughs> Just wanna know why you collaborated with him. Yeah, I definitely said the n-word randomly when I talked to him. He leaves out the context in this, but I'll show it. So I was arguing with him in Toxic Distress Server, and at one point he compared me calling someone a t in a video to someone explaining why racism is good while using the n-word in it. So I knew that this man would get pissed off over me saying that word. So I replied to him with it, and as expected, he got mad. I never used that word in a racist context, so his point of me discriminating races isn't even valid. Using his logic, we can say that iDubbbz is a racist piece of shit because he said the n-word in his content cop about Tana Mojo. But hey, this is the same dude that went after lyrics for calling Jaden a tiny six months ago. So I'm blasted I made his point about using the slur and comparing it to like any other slur. Your amazing comeback which in return proved Blaster's point saying no. And the reason because you wanted him mad. Good job! Now, he brings up an argument which I don't know which side to stand on. He makes that I don't use the n-word in a racist context, which makes him not racist. Which is true in some regards because he doesn't hate black people or any race for that matter. But his argument is up for you guys to decide because there's been good arguments on both sides. Have really, you confronted him really about his really that experience? you were agreeing with everything he was saying. It's just that you were collabing with him on a video where he called someone a transphobic slur. And why is calling someone a t bad? Again, they never talk about why Said f taught t is a bad thing. Calling people slurs is bad for a number of reasons. And once again, I don't think Max needs to know why saying slurs is bad, especially a transphobic slur. In my opinion, the LGBT community fucked themselves over in 2020 when they start making a fool out of themselves and that's why it's a trend or something they hate on it just to look cool. I don't support them by any means, but I don't hate them either. If you don't force your sexuality on people and scream it and constantly make everyone know you're LGBTQ, I couldn't care less, but if you're constantly telling me to inspect me to treat you differently because you're LGBT, then I wouldn't like you. Now saying slurs is bad, and even though it doesn't really apply to the thing you hate, it's still a fucking slur. I don't get why you somehow don't know how slurs are bad. For some parts of the interview response, you keep asking why being transphobic is bad, and I'm not gonna explain it again, but it kinda makes it up because it's his religion and his take on it, and you can't really see why he makes his claims, but you also have to take into account what other people explain it. When people explain it to you, you either just ignore it or pull the religion card or prove them right. And this dude, I actually compared transphobia to holophobia. Holophobia is the fear of trees, if you don't know. And transphobia means disliking transgender people. Just because they have a phobia in the end of the word does not mean it's the same thing. Them. This statement represents the problem with f You can literally criticize anyone, but as soon as you start opposing the rainbow, f will try to make people turn on you. Every commentary video criticizing someone will get hate, no matter what it's about, even if it's about the Skittles. And the backlash was reasonable. Like what you said, you don't know why being transphobic is bad, and using so much LGBT slurs in your video, I mean, what the fuck did you expect? 
the middle part of the video is him responding to comments about his point on trans women and not being real women and stuff. Well, in my opinion, it's true, and I'm not getting into that because it's not the point of the video, and I have no real opinion that I would share. The last part in the video is on Tirecast, all because he got petty over a Twitter argument. On Twitter. So I first made a tweet on him stating the fact that his content wasn't anything special and was actually fucking dog shit. Now, because this dude always has people praising him, the minute someone doesn't praise him, he becomes mad, or as the Twitter news would say, he copes and seizes. Now what do you do when someone says your videos are bad? Do you accept the criticism? No, you just show a screenshot of their videos and pretend that it somehow makes your content any better. Not even going to be responded to the tweets because it's very very clear that he's just insecure. The whole thing starts off with Epic responding to a deleted tweet and him saying that his content is fucking bad. The entire cast made one tweet screenshotting a video of his and Epic somehow made a vast claim that he made that to boost his ego on how his content is better. For a while the part Epic just rants off the cast about being being insecure on in criticism when in the first place you call his channel dog show which isn't criticism at all and two he made one tweet and he thinks insecure transphobic tweets that i've made which he later compiled into a tweet where he called me a loser like who calls people losers in 2021 besides asa driver 1990 so he found tweets about you being an ass and said loser but his point's invalid because he said a word in 2022 well this also translates to another point i've been talking about since the beginning of the video his religion bans trans people and like i said before it's the way you use your beliefs in religion like yeah if your religion doesn't like them but instead of calling them every slur you think of and being disrespectful you should state why i don't like them or any other stuff while being mature you were really you were talking about you were talking about Jaden. like criticize her content not criticize her choice for being a girl because for some reason she wanted to he continues his rant by pushing the narrative that tirecast is mad even though he told you the mold epic makes a shit skit while bringing up his religion on tirecast and that's the end of the video and it's also the end of my video I hope I explain my points well enough. Probably not to Epic and his fans, but to the other unbiased people, put your thoughts in the comments about the whole situation. I don't think Epic dude hates them just to hate them, however, I think his fans probably do. You can't criticize someone because they want to be transgender, however, you can criticize what they do during it. I can't believe I had to fucking say that.